Hi friends, welcome back. So this is the third part of the series on fixed income, correct? So in the first one, we spoke about what is fixed income. In the second one, we spoke about why should somebody get into fixed income. And now let's look into a little deeper and that if you have to get into fixed income, where do you begin with? All right, super, all good. So this is going to be a really interesting one. And we have the entire classroom here. It's wonderful to see you once again. And uh, as I progress, I would also request you to keep liking our videos, sharing our videos, and keep commenting on our videos. We would definitely keep responding to all your comments. All right. So let me get started. Okay. So in the world of fixed income, the question is, where do we start? Okay. The question is, where do we start? <clears throat> Let me take you a little back in our journey of investments. Okay. So, last time we said that if you are an individual A, you are working and you are earning a salary. Correct. The salary you keep in a bank. The bank pays you interest. Okay. So this is the beginning of fixed income. Fixed income is all about earning interest income. Correct? Fixed income, the income that you are earning is fixed more or less. And this income is called the interest income. Interest income. Now the best part of interest income relative to an earning from an equity investment is that in the, in the world of equity investments, the earning is uncertain. You may or may not earn as much as you are expecting. You are expecting 12, you might earn 8. You are expecting 12, you might earn 15. So the earning in the world of equity investment is uncertain. But the earning in the world of fixed income is certain. Do you guess the difference? So there is a heaven and hell difference between these two asset classes okay so the world of equity this is uncertain this is certain and isi ka humne yaad hai hum logo ne hindi mein bola tha the hindi word for fixed income is sunishchit i i is income sunishchit is certainty you are certain about your income all right now if you want to be certain so what is important that i become certain more and more and more certain all right where is the duster so the best place to be absolutely certain about is there, there is nothing as great as bank. You will be almost 99.99% certain that the fixed deposit that you are placing in a bank or a savings account that you are placing in a bank, you will be certain to receive that interest income. So that is 100% certainty. So that is step one. But many a times what happens is that while we keep money in a bank, we are not always too happy with the interest income that we are receiving and hence we start looking for an alternative right so maybe the bank is offering me five percent on a fixed deposit or a seven percent and i say you know what this seven percent is just not good enough for me because there is inflation in the world and inflation is like close to six or eight or whatever so i'm not just earning enough so so in the world of fixed income the interest that we earn interest that we earn is called nominal interest okay nominal interest and from this when you deduct inflation is called real interest so this is what you are earning in reality so that if the bank might be offering you seven percent but the inflation is six in reality you are only accruing one percent additional you might be thinking, oh, I'm earning seven, but seven is worthless because there is inflation of six. That means what is inflation? We will get, we will create very detailed videos on inflation later. But inflation is something which is in, eating into your income and that is the price rise. So the, so the actual addition to your wealth is just 1%. You may say 1% is not good enough. Can you control six? No. Inflation is what is within the entire system. But you can definitely strive to improve your seven. Okay. So if you're not happy with your seven, so that is the time you start looking for alternatives. 
You can get into real estate as an investment. You can get into equity as an investment. You can get into bonds as an investment. Bonds is a kind of fixed income investment. So in the world of fixed income investments, there are multiple instruments available. Bond is one variety. Okay. So today's discussion is if I'm getting into fixed income from a bank. Okay. Uh, where do I begin? Where do I begin? So for that, we have to see what I am looking to gain against what I am looking to forego. Okay. So in the bank, I have safety of my money. First of all, I, my money is safe. Yeah, safety of my money. I also have liquidity of my money. Correct. And I also earn interest. So these are the three things that I am getting from a bank. It, against my money in a bank. Correct. It's clear. So I keep money in a bank. So my money is safe. I have liquidity. Liquidity means whenever I want, I can withdraw the money. If you are keeping money in a savings account, whenever you want, you can withdraw the money. If you want to give money to somebody, if you want to send somebody, you can definitely do that. You can do transactions. So your money is definitely liquid in a savings account. Liquidity is there in your savings bank account and then in your current accounts. Okay. However, it is not as liquid if you are keeping money in a fixed deposit. In a fixed deposit, you are placing money for a certain period of time. It could be one year, two year, three year, five years. You can you you definitely give that money to the bank for that term period. But by paying some penalty, you can definitely prematurely withdraw the money if you want. So that means you can give money for three years. And if you suddenly think that at the end of one year or two years, you definitely need to withdraw that money for some spending, you can absolutely do that by paying some penalty. Now, the question is, if I have to take a decision of moving away from a bank into the world of bonds, okay, I am obviously looking to improve on this. I would like to improve on this and I would like to improve on this. Correct? Why, otherwise, why should I, as a rational investor, I don't want to just improve on one and give up the other two. Correct? Then it would be very... So, I don't know how to... Is there any price for safety? Nobody knows how safe money has to be safe. It is my money. It has to be safe forever. I want liquidity. Definitely, I want liquidity and interest. So, this is where bonds come in and particularly bonds held in a mutual fund. So, all mutual fund, which are bond funds, okay. So, let's say XYZ bond fund, bond fund, okay. Okay, so let's just talk about this. So, there's a bus first very great variety of funds is called a GSEC fund. GSEC fund. Let's call it XYZ GSEC fund. What is a GSEC fund? A GSEC fund is a fund where the investments are held in government of India issued securities. Okay, so in order to run the economy, the government borrows money. The government doesn't have enough money to run the economy. So that's a separate subject. We will discuss about it later. But just to let you know, the government every year is continuously borrowing money to spend. And they are borrowing money by issuing something against it, right? You just couldn't say, you give me money. So you have to give something against that. So what they give against borrowing is security. Security, which are called Government of India, GOI. Government of India Security or in short form, GSEX. Okay, and it is absolutely widely accepted that government of India is not going to default. So, in terms of safety, possibly it's even better than State Bank of India. Correct? So, you might have a SBIFD, but you say, you know what, I'm holding government of India. So, since the safety is very high, it is also called GILT, G I L T, GILT aged. GILT aged means uh, as valuable as gold. Okay. So they are called gilt aged or GSEG or government of India. So this is one variety of GSEG fund. So what do you gain if you invest into this? If you invest into this, your money remains safe. If you invest into this, your money is liquid because in a GSEG fund, if you want like to redeem today, you will always get the money back tomorrow. Okay. As long as it's Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sundays, you don't get your money. So Monday to Friday, so if you read him on Monday, you get your money on Tuesday. If you read him on Thursday, you get your money on Friday. But if you read him on Friday, you get your money on Monday, as long as that's a working day. So your money becomes liquid. And the third best part 
is that you also earn an you know income i would say income and this income is quite you know relative to this fd interest rates and the best part of a this kind of incomes i'll tell you this is this is very interesting and this is what makes this all this open ended funds so very exciting for every investor is that when you are investing in an fd let's say you are invested for a period of 3 years at the rate of let's say 7% okay so in the first year you will earn 7 second year you will earn 7 and in the third year also you will earn 7 correct in an fd you will earn 7 7 7 now even if interest rates go up you will make 7 even if interest rates go down you will make 7 so there is no you know confusion around that so overall you will make 21 rupees over a three day three year period right seven 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 if you invest 100 rupees you will get seven rupees seven rupees seven rupees but if you are investing in a gsec fund okay now this is where it makes it interesting suppose in a gsec fund you invest for a three year fund period okay and when you invest in that fund uh, we have two scenarios okay this is slightly you know technical if you think it is technical it is technical but i will try to explain this in as easy words as possible okay in the actual world stock prices go up and down correct stock prices sometimes goes up and sometimes comes down in the actual world interest rates also go up and come down interest rates are never stable right so today a three year fd might be 7% next month or one quarter later three year money fd could be 7.1 or 6.7 whatever interest rates are also continuously uh, changing the position okay and this is where since it is continuously changing this is where there is opportunity of making an additional income so the overall income from funds from funds is hence a combination of two things. Number one, the interest income for investments plus capital gain. So as interest rates go up and come down, the price of a bond also goes up and comes down. I think for now, this is just what you should remember. We will go deeper into why it goes happen, blah, blah, all of that later. But for now, remember, income from funds is a combination of two parts. It is just not interest income. Suppose you have invested in a fund with a 7% kind of yield, you will earn 7% for sure. Okay. But if interest rates, if interest rates are falling, okay. So you have invested into a fund which is was a 7% interest bearing a accruing kind of fund. But if over a three year period interest rates have come down from 7 let's say to 5%. For example, it has come down to 5%. There would be tremendous positive capital gain. So as interest rates come down prices goes up. So overall return would be 7 plus the capital gain. So this is where the big opportunity is there for all those people. Who are looking to take the first shift out of a bank fixed deposit and looking to enter the world of open investments but at the same time wants to retain the top three things which is safety of their money liquidity of the money and interest income of the money they can definitely start off with the government securities funds government securities fund ensures your money is safe your money is absolutely liquid because if you read him today you get the money tomorrow and at the same time, if you are investing in the right market cycles, which is true for even equities, you have to invest in right market cycles, the overall income would be your interest accruing a portion of your fund plus an additional capital gain. All right. So the first good step for everybody is to start with government securities as the first bet. Okay. So I think for now, today, should be a good uh, you know food for thought that all right if i'm looking to shift government securities is something that i can definitely research upon and we will cover more and more and more about all of these things there are many other funds within the fixed income space that is absolutely worthwhile to look at as an investor till then signing off for today 
If you are truly enjoying these videos, we would encourage you to like, share, subscribe to these videos and we will keep coming back with exciting videos every day. All the very best and happy investing.